Hey, this is Jerry from Bliss Studio. In, in this particular tutorial, we're gonna look at setting up 2D platforms using the open 2D sprite shape. And if you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, so here we are in Unity and we wanna go ahead and create a sprite shape. Now, for us to be able to utilize sprite shapes in Unity, what we need to do is go to Window and in the Package Manager, if you click on the Unity Registry, you can see that if I type in Sprite, you can see 2D Sprite Shape is one of those options. So go ahead and install that. Once you do, then you can go ahead and close this window. Now you have the option of creating Sprite Shapes. So to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and just right click, 2D Object, Sprite Shape, and then we've got two options here. In this demo, I'm covering the Open Sprite Shape. So let's go ahead and click Open Sprite Shape. And what this Open Sprite Shape is, is just a Bezier curve which is built up of nodes. So if we click on edit, you can see that we've got these nodes. And then with those nodes, there are handles. So we can change the way this sprite shape works. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn off gizmos real quick so we can see this. You can see that this sprite shape has nodes and with each of those nodes is a handle that you can manipulate the direction and way that node works. Now with each of these nodes by default, continuous is selected, but there's also options for if these nodes are linear and so they don't have these handles to them. It creates a really nice smooth shape. Now, the other thing that we can do is we can change the height of each of these nodes so we can have this taper off, which is really kind of cool. What I really want to do is to apply a sprite to this. So what we need to do is to create a sprite shape profile. So create 2D sprite shape profile. Now with this sprite shape profile, I'm going to go ahead and just call this ground piece because it's the name of my graphic. So first I want to make sure my graphic is set to textured type sprite 2d ui click, go ahead and click apply with my sprite shape profile selected i want to go ahead and take that sprite and just drag it right into that sprite shape now my sprite shape isn't utilizing this profile yet so for us to be able to do that let's go ahead and select open sprite shape now i'm going to take that profile i just created and drag it right into the profile and now you can see that i'm utilizing that graphic now it looks a little funny because we have a few things going on that we need to correct first so let's go ahead and edit our spline here real quick. So I'm gonna drag these out just a little bit so we can see a little more of what's going on. Our sprite is being continuously tiled. So if you want that, that's great, perfect. Just go ahead and stop right there. But if not, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and take our sprite and I wanna change the mesh type from tight to full rect, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. I'm gonna go into the sprite editor and what I want to do here is I want to determine what are the ends and then what part in the middle is going to be tileable. Okay. So for us to do that, all we need to do is we have these green handles. I'm going to go ahead and just select those and drag those in. So I have both of these kind of end caps selected. So I've got an end here, a middle, and then an end again. So I'm going to go ahead and click apply. And now you can see we have a nice continuous path with the end on the left and the end on the right. Okay, so now that we have that done, we need to go ahead and add a collider to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and what I wanna do is add an edge collider. And if we go ahead and open up that edge collider and we click on edit, you can see it as a straight line. So what we need to do is to be able to have our sprite shape modify that particular uh, edge collider's line. So what we can do is you can see we've got an option for update edge collider. I deselected and selected update the collider. Go ahead and edit collider and now you can see I have that sprite shape. Now, is this in the right location? What I wanna do is I wanna have my player be right in the middle of this top part of this platform. So there's a couple different ways we can do that. One, we can take this edge collider and we can go ahead and apply an offset so we can move that up or let's go ahead and undo that. We've got the option of choosing an edge radius. So instead of this very thin line, we can make this edge fairly thick. Let me just turn my gizmos on so we can see what we're doing here. I wanna go ahead and click on edge radius and then open up the edge. So we can accomplish the same thing just by changing the edge radius. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and add a 2D sprite circle. And let's just go ahead and call this ball. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and add a circle collider, 2D. And then I'm also going to add a rigid body, 2D. Cool, so now I have that. Let me go ahead and turn gizmos off. Now let's take and drag this ball Let's take our order and layer of our ball. Let's go ahead and select that as one. So it's in front of our platform. And then let's go ahead and click play. There we go. And then let's take our ball and let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and drop it. Hit play. And there we go, our ball is falling into infinity. There you go, there is the open sprite shape. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and it's something you can use for your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.